And thank you for joining us here at 530 on day seven of the Minnesota State Fair. It's all about the animals and more importantly, the costumes. Every year, 4-H kids with their llamas and alpacas go head to head in a competition that's focused on showmanship and having a lot of fun. Rob Olson is live at the fairgrounds. Rob, this year's entries are sure to turn some heads. <laughs> this is this is really a, become a highlight over the last decade or so. Uh, you thought getting your kids dressed to go to school was uh, challenging? Try dressing a llama. Emily here is a scarecrow. Her llama is a pumpkin patch for tonight's competition that begins in about 30 minutes in the Coliseum. Uh, there's hundreds of llamas and kids that take part in this, and this is something that they will plan for months and months. Everybody loves it, so there's a lot of competitors in it, and it's very competitive. Alpacas and llamas are only at the state fair for about 48 hours, which means they've got to get right down to business. It is pretty serious, yeah. Um, especially at the state fair, there's so many people that are competing and so many people that watch. Because only hours after they get here is what's become their signature competition. I'm going to be the coronavirus. And your llama? My llama is going to be a medical professional. When the llamas and alpacas and the 4-H kids who show them pretend it's Halloween. She's Bob Ross. And you? I'm the canvas, so I have a big painting on me. Renee Clark and her llama will be dressing up as Bob Ross and his painting, while her brother Rylan... I'm going to be dressed as a clone trooper, and she is going to be an AT, -AT walker. So there's lots of Velcro on this because of the house. Faith the White house and her alpaca her will be Eeyore and Winnie the, the Pooh. Pooh. I have a house for him, her because she's Eeyore, so I made Eeyore's house out of sticks. And it's kind of hard to get it here all in one piece. While the costume contest is fun, it has also become pretty serious. Fully cover their legs, that's more points. And then if you fully cover their face so they can't see, um, that's more points too. Because the point of all this is to show how well they are trained. Know what you're doing, know what you get points for, and then just be, have fun with it. <laughs> yeah, and it is fun. But again, it, it is a serious serious competition because this shows off how well the llamas are desensitized to uh, distractions like wearing a Bob Ross costume. That is fantastic. He's even got a little paintbrush <laughs> down on the bottom. I love that. And we're talking about her brother with the, uh, the uh, <laughs> Star Wars at at They're getting him ready right here. So uh, that's challenging. That's a box. Um, that's looking pretty good. And again, there's several hundred of these in competition, so we've just picked out a few to show you. It's looking good. Thank you. All right. Not as cooperative as Bob Ross down there, but we're going to show you more. This starts at 6 o'clock in the Coliseum, and we're going to be down there and a little bit after that. We'll hopefully see a whole lot of these parading through and see just how creative the llamas oh, oh, oh. Llama can get. Protest here. Yes. <laughs> They're very gentle, though, so I'm not worried. Oh. They said, don't touch their feet and they won't kick you. And that's all I get. I just, I don't want to get kicked. Yeah. So just stay away from their feet. Can do. All right. They are so cute. All right. We can't Proceed. wait to see what happens at 6. Proceed with caution, Rob. All right. Bye, Rob.